coming up in this week's video. We got the big build starting. We got the reduced dig, we got the muck away, we got stone up the entrance, we're pulling the foundations, and we're getting ready for the big concrete pour on Tuesday of next week. So let's get into it. So right, we got the big machine here, big 13 tonner, probably a bit overkill for the site in all honesty we've had the entrance formed now so we've got a bit of crushing here we've had two lorry loads of crushing here so probably about 40 ton of stone we've had three or four loads of muck away and we've reduced dig the whole entire area this is the topsoil here at the back of the garden which we're going to keep uh, ready probably a bit overkill in all honesty the engineer has been here now and marked out the actual building so this is the corner of the garage here and this is the garage opening effectively in this section here between these two uh, blue markers. That's the bay window over there at the front just by Nigel's machine. It's going to be really tight to pull it and then it comes down this flank down here to this corner. So this is the back garden area from, from this is a ba basically the outside corner of the brickwork or the face work and that's obviously my boundary there to my garden. So a decent width garden to be fair. Obviously when I reduce some of these trees, which I'm perfectly entitled to do at some point, then I'll have a lot more access to the sun in my garden. So we're ready for the, the lads are coming in Saturday to help the machine driver. And we're gonna dig the foundations. Uh, we've got some muck away organized. We're pouring the foundations on Tuesday. We've got an inspection on Monday. We're probably gonna have to go quite deep on one elevation because of the trees. So, but we got the inspection booked for Monday. Hopefully we can pour Tuesday all being well, but we ain't gonna know until we start digging really, to be fair. And this is the tree in question here. So what you have to do is work out the distance from the tree to this line here, and then it will tell you how deep that this elevation here needs to be. So we'll get that underway. It's gonna be really tight. So I'll be here tomorrow morning to help the guys, not that I know what I'm doing with anything below the ground, but I'll be here on hand to help the guys pull the foundations and we'll see how it goes. So I'll see you tomorrow morning, which will be Saturday. So we're going to finish the foundations now, uh, me and Lee are then going to mark the levels for the concrete. We've got the inspection on Monday, we've got the muck away on Monday and we've got the concrete coming on Tuesday. We've got the blocks coming on Wednesday so we've got two days to do the foundation block work and then Lee's going to come in Saturday and Sunday, do the internal drainage so we can get the block and beam flooring done on week commencing the 19th the blocks are coming. I sh all in all I reckon week 19th so I reckon week commencing the 26th we will be rising on superstructures which will be exciting so we're going to do the superstructures we're going to pretty much finish the house and then we're going to give it back to a ground worker and let him work his way out from the back garden right to the front and basically give me the keys so that's the plan a very nice farmer actually come around today who owns all this woodland ground here and has actually said that he would entertain selling me some so possibly going to extend my garden from here to this tree coming down here to this tree just that there's a natural line of trees that I can um, talk to him and negotiate to him about purchasing and possibly a bit out the back although the back garden's still pretty big as it is so that trench is obviously the, the cavity wall's 300 mil so it'd be in the middle of that trench so you know not even as wide as the trench my garden starts from there uh, to the to the back there and I'll be honest with you never been a massive gardener so I'll probably just tarmac the garden uh, but as you can see very tight for the machine up against the fence over there but Nigel's done a cracking job so we've got one more that's the garage wall there uh, which we're pulling through fortunately it's a single skip and then we've got one more wall just to dig across here which Nigel's sort of going to manoeuvre around now we've had to really overcook it here for a garage pier so it's only a 625 garage pier underneath this storm but we've had to do that because we couldn't get the machine in 
to sort of dig it smaller. But anyway, I'd rather it be overkill than, than um, you know, too tight and not central on the foundation. So all in all, ground conditions have been pleasantly surprised. Saved me a small fortune, if I'm perfectly honest with you. So tree roots will just be removed and cut back. Uh, there is a water pipe there as well, but that's not live. It was disconnected further up here. It was broken in the ground, so I don't think it's being used. Possibly think it may have fed some sort of trough or something over there. So the farm is very pleasant. He owns a significant amount of land around here. Uh, there's a development just up the road here that he sold to a company called Backhouse, 68 units. I've asked him if he's got anything that I could uh, have a little look at, and he said he'd let me know. So watch your space. But yeah, uh, right, when the foundations are done, I'll put the drone up and I will mark out the level for the concrete shortly with Lee. Uh, we're nearly done on this um, logistical dig for these foundations, which has been quite challenging, but pleased to see them done, pleased to see the ground conditions good, although we have got some thunderstorms coming later on. So, but uh, let's get these levels in, shall we? Right, that is the foundations dug. We just got to do the muck away on Monday. There is a storm drain running through the plot, uh, which we need to disconnect and divert. There's a soak away in the forest next door, according to the farmer. So quite fortunate to hit some good ground. Let's just have a look at it, shall we? So very good. So as you can see down this end, so the blue marks are the levels for the concrete. So we start off down this end here with about 350 mil of concrete down here. So this is probably our shallowest end. 350-ish, 400, uh, pretty good all the way down here. This is the garage, outside skin of the garage. And then as we go down here, uh, we've just we just followed the good ground basically, is what we've done. And then we've just leveled the concrete through. So you can obviously see the distance here is quite a lot. So it's about 850 there, 900, 875, tops out about 875, 900 to the highest point of the concrete. So this is a storm drain. So this storm drain runs diagonally all the way across the plot, so that's the line there. So you can see the manhole just here, uh, but we can just divert that round the plot and we may even be able to connect into the storm, we're not sure yet. So we've had to dig a bit of a bigger area for the bay window, but it just, it kind of makes sense. It makes things easier to be perfectly honest with you. And then we're not sure what this is here. We thought this was an old water pipe of some description. Uh, but as you can see, when we got further up there, it was just redundant in the ground. So the muck away, we reckon we've got about four loads of muck away, which I reckon is probably about half of what I anticipated getting out of here because the ground is so good. So I don't know what we dug here, maybe a meter, a meter here to the bottom of the foundation. So um, not too bad really, I was expecting two or three meters on this flank because of that bad boy tree there, but not too bad at all. So if you look over here somewhere, you will see the datum. So this datum is basically where you work out your finished floor level. So this is like, meters above sea level and then on your drawing you get a finished floor level which is here so this is what this nail so once the engineer sets your datum above sea level and then you find out your floor level of your drawings you can mark up or down from there and then you work it back so we've allowed ourselves six seven five so three quarters of blocks uh, and then we've got block and beam coming a week monday so we'll see how we get on with that so the big port is next week uh, inspection monday pour tuesday blocks being delivered wednesday masonry foundation masonry thursday friday possibly a bit of saturday we think and then we're going to do the internal drainage and stuff on the saturday and sunday if required ready for the block and beam to do the following week so that's it for this little update and i'll catch you in the next episode of the big build see you soon